A super special shout out to my amazing members and patrons Sam Medina, Matthew Hall, Lucky Charm, Jessica Bay, Charlene Kelly, Rick Hemingway, Madlow, The Hell Razor, Harrington, Iron Beast, Jelly Beams, Yumi, MDS84ZA, Justin Rice, Connie76, Mephesto, Lilith Plays, Bololco, and Kilabani264 for your amazing support. Hey everyone and welcome back to Rebirth mod. We are playing survival mode and guys so far it's been it's been bad. We died once because of low uh, water and stamina and stuff and the final blow uh, to that was getting set alight by our own Molotov and yeah I threw another Molotov over there and as you guys can see it's still cooking it's still nice and toasty over there. Now the problem we've faced with is there are so many screamers over there. The ergonomic grip really isn't doing that much. I think if I do more left clicks it'll help us. But yeah, um, screamers. You can actually see two screamers walking around over there. Or oh, well, we've killed one and another one's being toasted alive inside. So we are just going to go this way around. Hopefully there's no badass zombies that see us right now. This is Fisherman and Wesley. Be careful of wolves and stuff. That looks so weird. The fog. <laughs> it's, it's actually so bright that it's going through the fog right now. Okay, so we're going to see if we can't find a new town. But now the problem is it is so foggy. We might run straight past the town. I think we will be here. We saw a town over there. Wait, what's this? Imagine there's a trader over here, but I doubt it. Huh. If this town has a trader, that'd be awesome. Unfortunately, you guys, because we're playing survival mode, we are not going to be getting uh, vehicles that are just fixed. We have to fix our own vehicles. Look at all that. But yeah, if this was not survival mode, we'd actually get vehicles that are drivable right off the bat. So literally, you can get in the vehicle, uh, uh, put some... I think it even comes with fuel. Just get in and drive. But in uh, survival mode, unfortunately, you have to repair your own vehicles. Or you have to make your own vehicles. I can get a trader over here, but I don't think the trader is there. You never know those. Let's just go check. Usually there's a trader across from this uh, thing over here. But I think the trader's the dude inside the town that I can't find. The invisible dude. There's supposed to be a trader right here, but there's no trader. because I think it's because the town is so small, unfortunately. But yeah, um, we did find a trader building over here somewhere. Like a pillar. I think it's over there. But I didn't see any trader. I might have just missed him, like it was too dark or something to see. But I definitely didn't see a trader at all. I went to that place a few times and uh, there was no dude standing there. Unless he was sitting or lying down or something, I just couldn't see him. Oh crap, what is that? Corpulent zombie and that is a bandit. 1000 HP. Oh no, he saw me. He's not going to burn fast enough. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. That is one big bet. Oh, no. There's a wolf. No, it's not a wolf. It's this dude making noise. This is not good. He's barely dying. Okay, so we just found a new zombie boss. That's creepy as hell. I need to get as close as possible so I can get a face, uh, get him a face full of this. I can't afford to waste all my Molotovs right now on him. And he barely took damage. Look at that. He's barely taking any damage from the Molotov. I'm so careful right now. My stamina's running out. There's more vehicles on the road over there, which means there is a road. I can see the other building burning from all the way over here. The shame I can't make him destroy that vehicle. If we can at least make him destroy that vehicle, it's going to explode in his face, and he might be able to die from that. I thought it was a wolf or something just now. Oh, he jumps. If I can get him with his friends again, I can toast a ton of them together, that will be worth it. But if I just toast him and him alone, I don't want to waste the Molotovs. Corp... Corp... Uh, corpulent. Uh... I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Oh, that was bad. 
Oh no, 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 don't reload, don't, don't reload, don't, don't reload now. What the hell was that just now? He just roared at me. But guys, this is scary as hell. I need to walk as much as possible as well as to not run out of stamina. He just freaking roared at me. That dude is scary as hell. Oh, he's, he actually got stuck. Oh, his HP is low. One more Molotov should do it. And you are a zombie leader, Brody. Crap. No, no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He's fast. Okay, that was a mistake, John. Do not hit the zombie leader. I'm gonna burn both of these dudes with their friends, but I don't want to waste... Like I said, I'm not gonna waste the Molotov. I wonder if I were to go up on a frame or two of here, whether they try and destroy the frames with me on it. It's taking a little bit long just to make them all go in a circle, but guys, it's going to be worth it. We really don't want to waste any Molotov right now. There's a town over there. I know where I need to go. I need to reload, but I can't reload with these bosses on me. Especially that zombie leader, when he gets mad, he's fast. They're getting so little H uh, uh, XP as well. Look at that. Okay, yes, he dropped some stuff. And that was a mistake, John. That was a mistake, John. What's all the zombie leaders and stuff of here? He didn't really get hit by the fire, it seems, so we have to be careful of him. I'm just going to go, guys. I don't want to waste any more uh, Molotovs. We only have six left, and there might be way more bosses at the new place. Uh, let it oh, it's him roaring like that. I thought it's a fat dude roaring like that. Eh, you know what? I'm going to use up all my Molotovs and all my uh, ammo doing this. But it's XP. We are leveling so slowly in the first place. What if he's like fire resistant or something? Yeah, he's, he's not taking damage from that. He's calling in more zombies. I mean, he is a zombie leader, but I didn't realize that. He was busy calling in friends. Every time he screams like that, there's more zombies spawning in. I mean, it's free XP. I can just farm them. Crap, 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 crap. At least we can get away from him slightly. We're just jumping over uh, fences and stuff like this. He's basically like a screamer, but for uh, buff dudes with like shirt, white beater shirts and stuff on. You know, I'm gonna go. It's gonna take too long to take him down. Yeah, he's way too much HP left. So instead of uh, fighting over here and wasting all of the ammo and all of the stuff, zombie Brody. Okay, so that's like the, uh, the alpha and that's the beta. Both of them are called Brody, it seems. Okay, so we're gonna run away now. Um, yeah, I only have five monitors left. If I get more gas and we have some empty jars and stuff on us, we can make more Molotovs. We don't have gas on us. We can get some gas and we can get some empty jars and just some cloth. It's a super easy Molotov. That's just a frame. I see, the nice thing is it's an instant loot. The vehicle, oh, what's that? Genetics. Deep cuts. That's for swords. Yeah, we're not really using a sword right now. Oh, now that I have a pick... I'll be able to go and put away my, um... I have the pick, I can put away my stone axe. Where is that wolf? Oh, the boss is still following us. He's right there, still following. Probably not be picking up every single thing we come across right now. The fact that that zombie boss is still following is oh, that is a big, that's either a dog or that's a hit. Boys, it's so oh, terrifying. Every time he screeches like that, I'm like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, he's anyway, still far. Oh, boy. Yes. Yes. That looks like a um, direwolf as well. Oh, what's he? What's he? What's he? What's he? Why is he so mad? He's just feral.
Just have to keep doing this and keep reloading. The fact that they are just ferals chilling all about. Oh no. Is this pit bull gonna attack me? I don't know. Come on, I'm I'm getting so heavy right now. And there's just more and more and more zombies. This boss is not leaving me alone. Um. Oh crap! Another feral. Zombie grudge. Oh crap! I might have to run back to town and just give up on uh, going to a new place right now. If I could just keep running in a straight line, I should be able to get to where I need to be. So let's go. Let's try. Zombie grudge is over there, so we need to be careful of him. And yeah, we just don't run. If there's another wolf or something, oh, I need the I need the meat. The zombie leader is still following me though, and the grudge is coming. He only has like 500 HP left, but that's still a lot. Especially if I were to shoot him right now and he calls more of his friends. Now we just need to kill him, we've, uh, then we've killed a zombie leader. This dude ke uh, keeps calling people. Oh, the fact that he just took that down. Run, 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 he's mad. Yep, he's busy running. Stamina, 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 stamina. Garage is still upon us as well, so I need to be careful of him. There's another wolf over there. Okay. Okay. Guys, this is no this this mod is no joke. Look how tough these all uh, all these zombies are. I'm encumbered the whole time as well. Okay, let's go. Right just still over there is uh, really really fast. Our problem right now is we don't have any stamina. Like none at all. And because we haven't been able to unlock our classes yet, or a class yet, we're not getting any like good weapons or tools or anything like that. So we're struggling right now. I think I'm going to leave the vehicles and stuff for now because we want to be able to run away in case we need to. We are enc uh, encumbered by seven items, so that's already slowing us down so much. I want to loot all of these bags over here, but I think let's just first try and see if we can't find a trader. I have a 1,500 coin on me. So if we can go back... Zombie Emmet, please don't tell me you're feral or fast. Um, yeah, if we can go back and we can just quickly go get the other dude with the gun, the NPC the, from a few episodes ago, he might be able to help, but I have no idea how much he's going to charge. Although it says we don't have charisma, so we can't even uh, get him. That sucks. I'm still looting, but I need to be careful of looting, because the more you loot, the more encumbered you get. Is that a building over there? That pooch over there might be able to help us for now. I need probably mark this vehicle as well. Explosive immune. I wonder if that also means that they can explode you with those hands of theirs. I still have no idea what those hands do. Uh, map. Loot. Okay, just grab what I need. Molotovs. Uh, perhaps that, that, that. Gold we're gonna sell. Uh, this. We have a pick. Let's take a flashlight for some light. And duct tape. And cloth. Go, 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 go. I wonder if normal um, uh, bandages can also help heal you. Otherwise, why did they say that you're able to go... Hello, Buffy. The fact that that uh, dog's not defending itself right now makes me think they can't be that kind of companion. What's the benefit of having a dog if it's not going to do anything for you? 
Poochie doggy, I do not have meat for you right now, so I can't even help you. Or get you to help me. Please, vehicle, do not get exploded right now. I need my loot. That looks like a cool building over there. Okay, so what we need as a trader, but where the hell's the trader now? We might have to go all around this town because I might be on the wrong side. Um, You know what? Let's just run through this place. One, we might find a trader, and two, we might find a cooking pot. If we can find a place like the, the Buzz's Bar. There is a kitchen in the inside, so there might be some um, cooking pots. This is supposed to be lootable. We're only getting dirty water. We're never getting any clean ones. It looks like it's impossible to find clean ones in the world. You have to cook your own. Okay, we want to deal with this dude on our own. Oh, I forgot to take. I make myself a torch. So if all of a sudden we need a light over here, we won't have it. Okay, uh, scrap, scrap, scrap. I wonder if we can find any other kinds of drinks. Empty glasses. I wonder if this is an NPC over here, or if it's a bandit over here. We'll see you soon enough, though. Okay, and no cooking pots. Damn. We've got some food, but I need the cooking pot for water. The final stash is on the roof, but I mean, since... Yeah, we're just looking. We're just passing by. Motel might have cooking pot. No, there's no kitchen. The chance of actually having a cooking pot is low. I need to be careful of all the... Bosses. Hello, nerd. No, this is Greybeard. Almost look like the zombie nerd. He almost looks exactly the same, except he looks more like a little bit of a bum. Uh, ooh, that could have been bad. Okay, this is a cafeteria, uh, some kind of uh, shop with food. So if I can get lucky over here and find myself a cooking pot, that's really gonna help. What's this thing? Fuel tanker. That's awesome. Now I wonder where should I go for the kitchen? Probably have my guns reloaded just in case. I'm not liking the fact that I'm so slow when I'm reloading. He's almost dead. I don't want to waste that shot on him. The shotgun needs to be in a situation where like, I'm like, oh no, I have to defend myself. Boom, shotgun. There's a dude over there. I want to get the, uh, to the kitchen, please. Nope. Oh, the lockpicks work like that. Awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot to go to, uh, back to the one safe that I, I was meaning to go back to. Remember, we didn't have any lockpicks with us. Uh, I still have to go get the looters over there as well. I dropped loot in a bag and I was like, oh, I can't open this one place up because I need a lockpick. And yeah, there's still, we still have to go back. Zombie skeleton. I think a club does more damage to a skeleton. Because I don't think there's any more stuff to bleed out or anything. Crap. Ooh, way, 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 way too close for comfort. I heard another zombie sleeping over here, so we need to be careful. Seems like they're gonna be in the back, and there's also a zombie over here. Oh, this is where you jump in. I was wondering where the entrance was. Seems the entrance is over by this window. Okay, um, we can't go through one by one, but we need to be careful because bandits can. Just when we think we're safe, we're gonna get smacked from the side. Okay, let me just also eat over here because I need to make sure we get some space going. And I'm actually kind of wondering if I shouldn't try the murky water again. Okay, 
Okay, so. There might be some cooking pots in those ovens over there. If it's anything like vanilla, there's a chance to uh, of you getting cooking pots from those. Oh, that wasn't a dip. That must have hurt. As a man, I can sympathize. That leads upstairs. Stock that gives you water. No, that's oh yeah, miso soup. It's soup. Any kind of soup or stock gives you water, and we really need the water right now. Okay, so I'm almost able to one power attack, one left click it. Nice. Come on, please. After all this effort, we found a new town and everything. Give me a cooking pot. Baking pan. A new no cooking pot. So we're going to have to find ourselves a pure eye then with a cooking pot on top of the uh, counter or something. Problem now is, yeah, we have to either eat or drop because we don't have any space on us anymore. I'm going to have to make another drop uh, point. I'm going to put all of this stuff in a box somewhere and just mark it as drop. Or as loot, I mean. No. Please, no. Okay, I'm a little bit full. Oh crap, I'm too encumbered to move. Crap, I'm gonna have to jump. Guys, I'm dead because I didn't have enough space on me. Jump, 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 jump. Oh, that's bad. The boss is back. The boss is back in town. Oh, bandit, you are dead. I think it's I could go upstairs now. Come on. I'm gonna be able to jump up there, please. Okay, so we can quickly get the final stash at least. And then yeah, this boss is over here now. We have to be careful of the boss. I didn't I didn't realize it was that encumbered just now when I wanted to jump. So I'm gonna have to mark this dustbin as loot. They're gonna probably try and get onto this ladder of yours. I need to make it out of here as soon as possible. Ammo pile that is not lootable, uh, not destructible. I mean, guys, the ammo pile is like that because you can go and um, use it as a storage box, which is awesome. I'm kind of worried. We're, we're kind of struggling at the moment. Like, I'm really <laughs> worried with the progress. He's making it up there so we can quickly go back down here. Okay, so we need this, 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 and this. These we can drop. Uh, we can actually keep one of the good ones. And then, yeah, just make some space over here. Cool hammer, we already have one, but it's fine. There's, uh, if you have more, then we have more. Okay, now, how am I going to get away from this dude? Loot. Yeah, as soon as we start our class quests and stuff, we can start getting more stamina and all that stuff. At the moment, we have zero stamina at all. If I can get inside a, a house and just go for the kitchen, we might get lucky. Run, 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 John, run. We're actually super unlucky that we keep on getting the bosses so uh, so easily. There's an airdrop. Okay, we have to go for that airdrop. Um, it's all the way back there. I mean, we do need to go back to our base. Uh, let's just quickly see if we can't find the trader at least. And then we have to go back to the base anyways because we want to go loot that one. Um, might be cooking pots inside this place. But we need to be careful because of all the bo uh, bosses. Mostly because of all the bull. <laughs> We have a really bad problem right now of just constantly getting bosses and we don't have any space to work with. Um, guys, uh, I'm trying to learn this mod. Also, that's also why I'm doing five episodes a week of this. I'm trying to learn this mod because we might be doing this on the server. 
So at least then I'll be more or less familiar with the series. Although this is nothing like the original Rebirth because it's Survivor mod. So because of the Survivor mode that that's activated on this mod, we're not getting the default. We're not getting the easier version. Are you a bandit? Please attack the zombies, not me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, is that a sledge or something? What's what are you using? The bandit is barely dying right now. That bothers me. The little damage is being done to him. If I can lure him to the boss, perhaps. Oh, I should have tried um, uh, looting the other bandit as well. Be careful of your stamina, John. As long as you keep on doing headshots and don't run out of stamina, you can take them down kind of easily. Want to go for that zombie? Not for me. Go for the zombie. Nice. Zombie, turn around, dude. He's aggroing towards me. Oh, crap. If he kills that zombie, I'm dead. Yep, I shot him just now, and he gave up on me. Yay, he has a sledge. Kind of uh, went and made him an enemy without meaning to just now, so that could have been bad. Okay, so where could this trader be? See, Daryl's right there. Oh, there's a trader right there. Okay, we also have to go for that drop as soon as possible. I want to go for the trader first. If we can start getting some cash and then trying to get some NPCs to help us. Are you kidding me? Who are you? That's another grudge. Okay, I'm um, hoping she can't get inside the trader. Probably gonna follow me around to the side, so I need to make sure there's no hole or something. See, this camp is the one we had on the other side, but instead there was no trader because the town was too small. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get back there. That grudge can jump, so I need to be careful of that. Okay, yeah, these zombie bosses and stuff are kind of badass. They're a little bit, a little bit tough, just a little bit. If I can buy a cooking pot from the trader. Distilled water. Hallelujah. But I need to try and see if I can't first sell some stuff to the trader then. Probably won't be able to take his stuff as well because he's also going to tell me, Thief! I need to see, there's usually some workstations over here. Where's the benches and all that stuff? I'm hoping the traders are invulnerable. Because if they all of a sudden make it through over here and there's like a grudge or something, we can't place frames down. We're dead! Okay, there's a forge over here. Um, I wonder if I should move to this town. It's gonna be more dangerous with all the bosses and stuff. As we need to make our class stuff as well. If only I could pick up that forge just now, we'd be able to go and make our own. But since it's a trader's forge, we won't be able to do it. What are you? Ugly dude. Okay, so it seems all of the workstations in this mod are active. They work, all of them. We need to be careful, I think the grudge can jump. So if the grudge comes through here, <laughs> it's gonna jump over the wall. I'm only safe from these normal zombies that can't make it over. Come on, John. Aim better. Every time I shoot, she just moves that little bit. Just enough to avoid damage. Ooh. Okay, so this is a chem station, it seems. Distiller. As I need either a forge or... If I, if I can just get... The cooking pot. Just the cooking pot alone. That's already going to help us because then we can finally make water. We won't run out of stamina. Uh, we'll be able to run around more without having to worry. Oh, cooking pot. Yes. Okay, so now I don't know if we're supposed to go to this town. No, sh uh, oh, should we live at this town or not? I wonder. If I can live over here, it's going to help us so much. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to talk to the trader still and see what he wants from us. 
There's only like two or three minutes left, so I have to make sure we get as much done as possible right now. Um, if I can just talk to the judge. Luckily, hopefully none of them made it inside. Are you supposed to craft yourself the waypoint stations and stuff? Like, I, I, I could have sworn, I don't know if it's this mod or this different mod. But I know there is a mod that I saw once that had like teleporters to your backpack and stuff. I think it might be this. That, that might have been the second video that I saw about, uh, saw about this model or of this mod. See, we're kind of safe over here, but I don't care. I want to survive, damn it. They can still jump uh, on each other's heads and make it over. Luckily, these doors... No, these doors are all unlocked. So I'm guessing it's only the, the NPCs that can make it through the doors. Unless there's like a super intelligent zombie that can do it. Oh, all of these are lootable. I keep forgetting all of them are lootable, even if they don't look lootable. Ah, uh, what's that? What's running? That was an NPC as well, but there was something else in between there as well that was running just now, and that's kind of giving me the creeps. Okay, um, don't need these for now at least. You might need all of this stuff later, that's the problem. Deep cuts, you can sell it. I'm not going to uh, wear the genetics one. We have the healing one on at the moment. Sell all of this. Why can't I sell it? Wait, can you really not... Is this... You don't have coins in this game. You buy with cash. Cash. Oh, I didn't know that. So I could have bought the allegiance of the zombies a long time ago. I didn't know that. Now I know. I thought you have to convert this to coins, but you can just go and buy stuff with it as is. Okay, so what can I buy over here now? I have 1.5. I have to get something that's really... We have a cookie pot already. I have to buy something like right now that's really, really going to help us. Like food or drink or something. Molotovs. Uh, we can make our own. So basically there was no point. <laughs> I wanted to get to a trade to sell stuff. So we could have bought the other dude's allegiance uh, sooner. I need to go see if he's still Maybe in that, uh, that biome. Travel, survivor. Okay, we can loot this. Come on. Crap. I think it was over there. Nope. Crap, man. I'm not paying attention to exactly where... It breaks so easily if you're not careful. You can go through lockpicks. You need to pay attention to where it breaks. I'm not doing that properly. Okay, so yeah. um, I can actually accept a new job from him. But I think we should move closer to Come him. Back tomorrow. There has to be a, some kind of building over daily. here we can take over instead of that one over there. But we're going to have to move everything over, over, over. Um, I mean, I did leave loot there and loot there. And I left loot over here by the trader. So I think let's drop everything over here. Except the cooking pot. We want to make some water there. Um, I think I have to go back to the base. Why does that keep happening? I have to go back to the base, and I have to quickly make myself some water. And then I have to bring that, start bringing that stuff over to this side of here. And then next time you guys see me, we'll have way more stuff over here as well. I don't want to see what was... A, there was definitely something fast over here. Something wearing like a, a white shirt or something. It might have just been an NPC or something. Okay, let's really go for the airdrop just to see what that is, and then, yeah, I have to go and do a ton of moving off-camera. The only problem is, it's a shame we don't have any more, um, steroids right now. Because now that we have a cooking pot, we can make ourselves some water. So, <laughs> now, now, I, now I can actually use the steroids and carry way more stuff without having to worry too much. Okay, guys, looky who I found. Emily. Oh, I can't hire her because of my charisma. Oh! We have the cash, but we can't hire still. We need to find the other the storyline dude and have him teach us. Guys, this whole week has just been me figuring out the mod so far. But we really, 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 really need to find the other dude. Uh, the Daryl usually tells you to go to some dude and then uh, he gives you class quests. Um, yeah. So the fact that we haven't gotten that yet kind of that's uh, hindering us right now. I'm going to go back to the base of here and just drop everything off. If you guys liked this episode, please like share with your friends. Comment, subscribe, and feedback. Guys, what do you think about this first week of Rebirth? Uh, as you guys know, I have been struggling, but I mean, I'm new to it. And yeah, we just have to focus on getting our class quest.
If we can do that and get some charisma and stuff going as well, we'll finally be able to go and even hire one of these NPCs. And if, we, if you're facing one of the bosses, they might come in handy a lot. But yeah, leave a comment down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more this content. See you guys next time for some more Rebirth Mod. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members, patrons, and contributors for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.